bringing back consumer choice and home appliances so that you can buy washers and dryers, shower heads and faucets. So shower heads, you take a shower, the water doesn't come out. You want to wash your hands, the water doesn't come out. So what do you do? You just stand there longer or you take a shower longer? Because my hair, I don't know about you, but it has to be perfect. Perfect. We're looking very strongly at sinks and showers and other elements of bathrooms where uh, you turn the faucet on in areas where there's tremendous amounts of water, where the water rushes out to sea because you could never handle it. And you don't get any water. You turn on the faucet, you don't get any water. They take a shower and water comes dripping out. It's dripping out, very quietly dripping out. People are flushing toilets 10 times, 15 times, as opposed to once. They end up using more water. So EPA is looking at that very strongly, at my suggestion. Uh, you go into a new building or a new house or a new home, and they have standards on where you don't get water. You can't, you can't wash your hands, practically. There's so little water comes out of the faucet. And the end result is you leave the faucet on, and it takes you much longer to wash your hands. You end up using the same amount of water. So we're looking at, uh, very seriously, at opening up the standard. And uh, there may be some areas where we'll go the other route, desert areas. But for the most part, you have many states where they have so much water that it comes down. It's called rain, that they don't know, they don't know what to do with it. So we're going to be opening up that, I, I believe. And we're looking at uh, changing the standards very soon. Last thing before we go tonight, for that matter, the last thing this week is some comments by the president today. Here's all you need to know before we dive in. The White House today hosted a group of small business owners. And as it usually does, the subject of rolling back regulations came up. Then he started talking about water, water flow, water pressure, EPA regulations on water fixtures designed to save water because 40 of our 50 states expect shortages in the next decade, after all. Anyway, it was clear today the president has some strong feelings about water. But I'm also approving new dishwashers that give you more water so you can actually wash and rinse your dishes without having to do it 10 times. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Anybody have a new dishwasher? I'm sorry for that. I'm sorry for that. It's worthless. We won't talk about toilets, but you know that's the... 10, 50, but we don't talk about that. Because I've said this three or four times, the only subject they ever talk about is toilets, so I don't mention toilets. But how about the shower? You go into a shower, and I have this beautiful head of hair. I need a lot of water. If somebody said you could have 42 gallons a person, I think a day, that sounds like a lot of water, right? It's not. It's like a quick shower and let's wash your hands. Then they have a mandate, wash your hands at all times. You must always constantly wash. Then they say 42 gallons. They say, wait a minute. Okay, I got a deal. I won't take a shower for the next couple of weeks, but I'll wash. No, it's true. So 42 gallons, it sounds like a lot, but it's really not. A friend of mine, he has this massive house. He says, I'm not going to be able to take a shower. I live in a house, this gorgeous house, right? Can't take a shower. Wash your hands every hour, every 15 minutes. You know what I did? I'll tell you this crazy story. So you know what bothers me? When you go into a new hotel, a new house, they have these faucets, right? And you turn them on, no water comes out. Even if you live in, like, North Carolina, you live in areas where, up in New England, you live, most of our country has so much water, we don't know what to do with it. The problem is, how do you get rid of it? But they do for, like the desert, like here, but they do for areas that are a little bit tougher for water. But even you have the water. So they do it. So they come up with this one regulation for all over the country. So you go into a hotel or you buy a house, and they have what's called a restrictor. So, yeah, look at it. They're all nodding. Same thing, by the way, same thing with your dishwasher. They freed that up to them. The dishwashers, they had a little problem. They didn't give enough water. Like, so people would run them 10 times. So they end up using more water. And the thing's no damn good. We freed it up. Now you can buy a dishwasher and it comes out. And it's beautiful. Go buy a dishwasher. Go buy it. Those companies. I said, what's wrong with this thing? It doesn't clean the dishes, right? The women come up to me. 
The women who they say don't like me, they actually do like me a lot. Suburban women, please vote for me. Sinks, right? Showers. And what goes with a sink and a shower? <laughs> Ten times, right? Ten times. Wow, Bob, not me, of course, not me. But you, him. But I never mentioned that. Because one time I mentioned all three. I said, sinks, showers, and toilets. The headline was Trump with the toilets, toilets. That's all they were. They don't even mention this. So I didn't mention that, okay? I go off the record. But you know what? It's terrible. You want to wash your hands, you turn on the sink, the water comes out. So you leave the water go 10 times as long, it's the same thing. You have a shower. It's no good for me. For me, you know the one thing that came out really good about being in this business? I used to, they always used to say I wore a hairpiece. It's okay, I know people wear hairpiece. But they always used to say, they don't say that anymore. Because I have been through the worst storms. If you wear one of those suckers, you got to give it up fast, because within two weeks, they got you. Dishwashers. We did the dishwasher, right? You press it. Remember the dishwasher? You'd press it, boom, there'd be like an explosion. Five minutes later, you open it up, the steam pours out, the dishes. Now you press it 12 times. Women tell me, again, you know, they give you four drops of water. And they're in places where there's so much water, they don't know what to do with it. Election, he is in danger of losing, and the small matter of Middle East peace we mentioned earlier, you might have thought President Trump had better things to worry about than how much water comes out of his shower. But he says he needs more flowing through the shower head for washing his hair. Yes, he does. To keep it perfect, he says. And since he's in the, he is the president, he has been determined to do something about it. It's not easy having the most famous hairstyle on the planet. There's how to style it and keep it in place in the wind. But it's water pressure, according to President Trump, that is his biggest nemesis. As you take a shower, the water doesn't come out. So what do you do? You just stand there longer or you take a shower longer? Because my hair, I don't know about you, but it has to be perfect. <laughs> perfect. Now, now, I've seen everything. <laughs> That's it. Good night.